Hey guys, and welcome to our review for Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Directed by Christopher Nolan. Hmm. Starring an ensemble cast, yep. including the introducing Finn Whitehead, the unknown. Tom Hardy, Mark Rylance, Kenneth Branagh, Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy. And Harry Styles. 1D himself. Oof. 1D. Damn. He does have 1D. Tim, can you give us a little synopsis sure. of what happens mm. in this film? What? Sorry, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, you're excited yeah. for my synopsis. Oh. Mm. Mm. With 400,000 men stranded at Dunkirk, a desperate attempt is made to evacuate before, Germ before German soldiers in planes descend on the beach. This film depicts, uh, this film depicts the event from, from, from three fronts. One at sea, one, at, one on the beach, and one in the air. Yes, indeed. My name is Scott Ellis, as well. Yes. I'm Hello. joined here by Tim McGavin. Hi. I saw Dunkirk yes. on IMAX 70mm film. Grow up, Tim. Tyler Switelski is also joining us. I also saw Dunkirk on IMAX 70mm film. Right and Adam Franey. I just found one of these. <laughs> uh, I didn't know we were reviewing Dunkirk, but I saw Valerian. <laughs> oh... Just kidding. Oh. Just kidding. Who would want to see that? Oh, I'm gonna throw mm. a little bit. Pretty exciting. We had to travel to see this in IMAX, in 70 millimeter IMAX. Real IMAX. Um, who wants to start us off with this little review? Ooh, <laughs> Tyler, let's do it up. He shall do the deed. I'll start. What are your general thoughts, observations? Dunk it on Dunkirk. On Dunkirk. Done, Your Mark Ryan's impression is dead on. Is it? You think yeah, so? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, it is um, God, I hate that man. Um, this might be one of the most beautifully shot movies I've ever seen. Ever. Really. So you love the Hoytster? I love the Hoytster. I love IMAX cameras. I love yes. Christopher Nolan. Yeah. This was just a great movie. There was it was great. Everything was so practical. You could tell that everything was practical. You saw the planes. You saw the boats. Every, everything was just it just screamed. It was just everything was real. It was all real and it was just beautiful. Authenticity, I think, is what yeah, I'm just right. authentically right. beautiful. Hmm. That easy, right? Yes, Indeed. nailed it. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> it was just it was just so perfect. Beautifully authentic. Yeah, he loved it. Perfect. I did. Uh, now, the timelines. It took me a while to understand, because they said the mole, and then it was a week, and I was yeah. like, okay, all right, and then they said the boats, and like they showed Mark Rylance's boat, and it said a day, and then it showed Tom Hardy in a plane, and it said one hour. Yeah. So I was like, oh boy, okay, that is uh, right off, right, right. Right off the bat, this is going to be confusing. I knew it right away. Gosh darn it. It took me about 40 minutes in to figure out what was going on. I remember the exact point, too, but we'll, we'll get to that. Um, but it was just so well done, though. Just so well done. You could tell, like, as each scene went on, how it, each scene connected with each other. I did not expect it to be like that. I didn't know they were going to do You didn't do... hear before? No. I had no idea they were going to do that. So this was just a, just a pleasant surprise. I loved it. Awesome. Pleasant yeah. yeah. surprise. Yeah. 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 Tim. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a Tim. What are your general thoughts for Dunkirk? I was going to try to be clever and say like I didn't like it or something, but I love it. You, you can't even oh, do that. Like I can't even hide it, man. Yeah. This, I love this movie. Um, love. Yeah, I love it. Love, love it. Yeah. Like, like love, love it. Like the oh. number oh. on the back of your head. Like Five Bang loved it. <gasps> Been waiting weeks to wear this. Actually, I five-bending movie last week as well. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> yeah. um, what the fuck? Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, this movie is just like a marvel of filmmaking. I think, mm. like MCU. Yeah, Nolan's been slowly building. Okay, man. He's been slowly building toward. Like every time his movies come out, I've said it. They're like an experience. There's yes. something like super unique about them, or something that they're an event draws you in. This movie is like the accumulation of it being of Nolan's movies being an event. Like, it's a, not only is it a true event, but, like, just, like, the just the, film, the filmmaking of it is just incredible. Like, how practical this thing is. <laughs> it's baffling that, like, we're surprised by this, because this is what they did back in, like, the yeah. 30s, 40s, 50s. Yeah. Like, just 
because they didn't have computers. So it was That's just straight effects, do. like yeah. straight. And it effects. paid off. Like, it feels yeah. At the moment you're dropped into this movie, it doesn't let you go. You're in it with these guys. Um, I think Stuckman said it really well. He's like one thing that could be a drawback for this movie is that there's no real connection with a lot of characters. But he's like, no one's dropping you into the middle of this battle. We're not even a battle. The middle of this event because it's not a battle. Um, and soldiers don't stop and turn to each other and be like, hey, what's your name? Oh, I'm this person. This is my background. Like, this is... This is wife, You're just I like, at home. Yeah. I'm yeah. just trying to fucking survive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about... I mean, I mean, care about the person next to me, but, like, my main thing right now is to get out of here. Living. I don't have time to, like, chat and, yeah. like, tell my backstory and get all moved like they do. And, like, like I love Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. They have that big church scene where they talk and get to know each other and stuff. It doesn't happen. You just... Right into it. As a rebuttal to that sort of argument from Chris Duckman, I would say that it's like this universal human connection yeah. that we have to those characters. I was thinking about this. I didn't Not feel to individual characters. Uh, yeah, I didn't sure. feel attached. I felt attached to one character emotionally because I love him. Um, but yeah, I felt more attached to the to the everybody as a whole. So it's a, I was it's like, a, I want all these people to get out of here. Theme. Yeah. It's a human universal yeah. feeling of I want to survive, yeah. and you sort of have. Can yeah, make a their backstories didn't matter. I was thinking about it towards the end. I was like, I feel. It's, it's it was yeah. like, yeah, it's not really one. There is one character, but like, there's no like big emotional arc for one character. It's just like emotional arc of like this collective group of four hundred thousand people. Yeah, that w- went through this event. So how do you pick out one person to focus on? Yeah, you can't. You yeah. focus on everybody. Yeah. I think it's the way you have to do it. And I think to fully appreciate the, the, all the sides of the coins. Yeah, really, which and. Is, I loved the non-linear storyline in this. I thought it was a, such a great way to tell the story. Mm-hmm. Um, kept you on edge. There's a couple scenes where, like, you'll there's a we can talk about spoilers. There's a scene where like an airplane that goes down, and then you see something that you think has happened, and then you find out like maybe that's not what you think it was at the first time. Yeah, a couple times. Yeah, and I'm like tense when I find out what has happened. I'm like, oh no. Yeah. Fuck. You loved it. I loved it. You loved it. Adam. <laughs> I thought Scott was going to go. I considered, I considered jumping in, but uh, I want to get your thoughts. Uh, your uh, world impressions. Um, sweet shit. No. You can't. Uh, no. I can't say that. Shit face. Nolan is my favorite director. And this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Mm. And I thought it was very good. Did mm. you love it? I liked it a lot. Wow. I was going to say I didn't love it. I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good. I don't know if I loved it yet. I just, like you were saying. Timelines. The timelines. Timelines. It's a big one. I haven't fully grasped. It hasn't fully settled with me yet. I feel like I need to see it again. Which I do appreciate about, like, that in a war film. Not even in a bad way. Like, you don't have to see it again in a bad way. It's just, like, you have to, like... I don't have too much bad to say, but I... Yeah, like, I... Yeah, I, I loved it. Like, it was it was very, very good. Was, I don't know if it was perfect, because, like, I didn't feel emotionally, like you are saying Stuckman said. I kind of felt a bit of that. Like, I felt my it's kind of a problem to not have any characters for me. They were just, like, faces that this was happening to. There, no one was fleshed out. There was no personalities. But then I'm even torn on that, because I'm like, well, he's just appointing these people as, like, a metaphor for everyone, like you yeah. said, right? Like the main kid, do they even have names? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the main kid's name? Don't know. Right, Isaiah or something Whitehead. <laughs> what is it? Finn Whitehead. That's the actor's Finn name. Whitehead. Yeah. Um, like him. He's just. He could be any soldier, right? I think that was the intention, right? Uh, super suspenseful the entire time. Like I was clinched the entire time. Like pretty scared. <laughs> yeah, especially the climax. <laughs> Felt for me. like a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. The climax was insane. Amazingly shot. Uh, the use of real live extras, my favorite thing. The uh, planes, real vehicles, like seeing planes. those planes. The dogfight's insane. Oh, fucked! <laughs> like literally looks real. That's almost scene like was yeah, real. Yeah. yeah, sorry, was real. <laughs> uh, it's almost like we're spoiled by like CGI, like crazy bombastic dogfights or whatever, right? Yeah, because this was like one-on-one planes for most yeah. of it, right? Yeah, and this is what it was like. This, is, this is real. I'm this like, is, wow, yeah. this is like what toned it was like. down, yeah. but it's just like, no, this is real. This yeah. is how it looks in real life. And you only had like so many shots to hit your mark. Like, yeah. like they didn't have endless it's amounts of ammo on those Spitfires. Like, there was like 
Spitfires are like doing this in the air, and when you fire machine gun bullets, yeah. they just kind of like do this. They like they fly all over the place. It's just like a spread. Yeah, um, it's not a sign. Yeah, I I loved all the action set pieces. Obviously, seeing the real ships sinking, like real people jumping off of them, like it's just mind blowing. If we don't get this shot right, people are going to die. Yeah, <laughs> like, Nolan's just killing people. No problem. Uh, <laughs> I heard. That. Um, I thought the performances were great. I thought Harry Styles was good. Yeah. I didn't have a problem with him at all. No. I was very worried. I'm like, why would he cast, like, this singer? It's so weird. Mm. But I thought he was great. It must like, I wasn't worried because there's no way, like, Christopher Nolan would have put him in the movie if he wasn't good. Yeah. Right. We trust. I trust. In Nolan, we trust. Yeah. Um, I love the score, how it was kind of going the entire time. It was like that ticking. And then. Apparently they used Christopher Nolan's pocket watch for that sound. Really? Yeah. Ozzy, you're the goat. <laughs> like, I love the like how the even how the score changed. Sometimes it was reminiscent of like Dark Knight. Other times it was just like a doom, 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 bass like pounding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just amazing filmmaking overall. I just would have probably preferred like it's not perfect. I feel like I would have liked a little more emotional attachment to some of the characters, but that's like my really my only negative. Okay. Um, Fair enough. And the IMAX experience, like oh. you haven't don't you haven't seen this movie if you don't see it in IMAX. Yeah, yeah. see at least once in IMAX. I'm seeing this again Sunday with my oh, fiance. Nice. She doesn't really care about IMAX. So I'll be seeing it at regular theater. Oh, but I'm so happy I yeah. saw it. Yeah. in full Real IMAX. IMAX. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you it have is to. insane. It's a hundred and seven minute movie, whatever it is. Yeah, it's an hour 47? Yeah, Yeah. so it's an hour and seven minute movie. Yeah. An hour and two minutes is shot on IMAX. The rest, there's like five minutes that isn't IMAX. I wonder what wasn't. I can't even tell. tell. It cuts down. There's like a few shots. I didn't didn't even notice that. I did notice that. There's like one full scene and then there's just like a few shots here and there that aren't. Interesting. Bizarre. That that makes you wonder why they decided. Why not just do it the five minutes in IMAX? Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Weird. Money ran out. Did, oh, does he have his own cameras? I think J.J. J. Abrams has his own camera or something like that. Yeah, right? did, like, the red, I think. The yeah. RAD. So like, does he have his own uses, like a million dollar cameras? Yeah. yeah. So. I think he broke a camera on this movie, right? I think I heard that he did right. on Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. yeah. Anne Hathaway like drove a bat bike, the bat pod thing. Like, yeah. Right through it, and cut it in half. Amazing. Half a million dollar camera. <laughs> You're right. fired, and it's goodbye. Right. <laughs> Let me jump in. Oh, I fucking hated it. Yeah, I feel like you hate it. Love Day! Go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. Love Day! Um, <laughs> heavy worried. Uh, <laughs> heavy worried. <I'm> sweating. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. I made it. I will say, I. Okay. Ooh. I loved it, it, but. But. but the, I almost. Again, again, I have to do some historical research, but. Uh-oh. I just I wish there was like it's, it's it feels so greedy and selfish like I wish there was more yeah like I wish there was more dog fights I wish there was like 20 planes not two you know what I mean yeah. I was happy yeah. with three I thought it was I thought that aspect was perfect like thought, it fit the runtime the pacing was perfect I, I was thinking about that but as soon as I was good as I soon just, as I thought like more war planes all I was thinking was like this is gonna be like a Star Wars thing in space which exactly is planes flying everywhere the like, George Lucas Force Awakens trailer. Yeah. It's like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, but again, <laughs> planes like shooting each other. That's like the selfish person inside, mm-hmm. me, but in no one we trust. Yeah. Yeah. So, I I love the dogfight scenes. Honestly, I I wish I could have seen this movie with my grandfather, who was a spit, uh, mm. yeah, Spitfire pilot. Wow. Um, oh shit! Cool. In World War Two. Yeah. So. Be just insane. to see that and what it was like in real life to see those real Spitfires mm-hmm. amazing um, but yeah I mean literally the IMAX literally blew my mind yeah literally that like when it opened the, the first shot scene, I was literally like, like taken back like, like we have yes. to sit here and we have to watch this because like, as soon as it hit and I was like it's like full screen like you're close to the screen in this thing so like as soon as it opened boom full frame just like beautiful i couldn't believe we were it. all like we were all like astonished yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're looking at each other like oh, are you fucking kidding yeah. me yeah and just, and just you know what stop. you know what i love is just seeing like tom hardy like actually in like a spitfire like yeah amazing yeah truly you just you can see like stuff like in the background yeah i'm like he's fucking in that plane yeah they use like a specialty seat so they had like an actual pilot 
And then they had him. Yeah. 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 So, so he was yeah. really flying around. Yeah, he was in a plane. That was real. Yeah. yeah. I thought, I'm like, this can't be fake, but... No, they were actually in For the, the shots of yeah. him in the plane, he was actually, like, in the... Yeah. In the plane, yeah. They didn't use, like, a gimbal, like... Like, they're, like, riding a fake, like, horse. Yeah. And he's, like, in, like... It's just, like, the cockpit. He's in this no. harness. It's, like... So they had a real pilot flying. And he yeah. was just, like, kind of... Yeah. Miming, miming the... Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Fuck it. I'm in. Bye, bang. Great and without spoiling anything, like, near the end, <gasps> mm-hmm. the fire shot with... For the streets. Oh. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Fire for the beach. I literally, like... Like, I got, like, short of breath. Yeah. I was, like, oh, my God. Yeah. This looks so amazing. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Like the vehicle on the beach that yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um performances were great all around. Um Harry Styles. Uh, yeah. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll say. Yeah. Um got more he had more to do than I thought he was gonna. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Totally. I thought he'd be a cameo. Yeah. He's a large character. Bonafide answer. character. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Um and the 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 sort of the timeline at, at first was like I was like wait what what was yeah, that right Week, month what was that again yeah, yeah I'm, I kind of still feel a little bit like that I don't know that I fully I'm a bit so what iffy. happened on the boat what what happened on the beach takes place over a week essentially okay um what happens with Mark Rylance and his family takes place over a day and then Tom Hardy is an hour it's like memento level like. I can't believe he brought that to a war movie. Yeah, that's amazing. Insane. Yeah. So that's why you see some shots are like repeated because you see it from like Tom Hardy's perspective first, and then you see like that same ship like blow up again because it's from like Mark Rylance's perspective, and then you might see like something else happening. So there's like instances where like there's a boat tipped over. I'm like, oh, that's the boat that like those there, people are in now. Yeah. So a lot like, of foreshadowing. I know stuff tips over, but I don't know who survives yeah. out of that or how it happens or how it like, happens. Yeah. Or, the, the way, yeah, it's like, so, happens. like, the air only takes this much time, yeah. and then, like, the sea takes this much time, and then the beach takes this much time, yeah. wow. and it's just sort of intercut, yeah. and so as a result, you get lots of, you know, um, sort of foreshadowing, you're yeah. like, oh, interesting, okay, I can see, and then that's going to happen in the future, but then I've already seen, and then there's, like, yeah. flat, almost like, in the past, it kind of, it cuts yeah, back and forth, and at first it's kind of disorienting when you realize what's going on. Yeah. You're like, oh, like when Killian, there's a thing with Killian Murphy. Yeah, sorry, see, Killian Murphy. Sorry. Killian Murphy. Thank you. Um, you sort of see him in a different situation. You're like, yeah. oh, that this whole thing happened way before. Yeah. yeah, and it kind of threw me off a little bit. I'm like, okay, how's this gonna end up? And then sort of in the middle, it gets a little bit confusing i'm not gonna lie once it hits like the middle mark yeah. and then it's like just slightly after that it's like oh okay it gets and a lot clear right n- yeah. near the end when it, things start to converge yeah because they all converge on that final hour with tom hardy yeah yeah and starts or that final like few minutes i guess really mm-hmm. yeah with the planes and then like, i love everyone's that. meeting at that climax of yeah i love when i can you can actually put the pieces together like yeah. oh this is gonna be good but it's it sort of in the first sort of like 40 percent to 50 percent in i was like a little bit like how is this gonna I don't know it wasn't like I don't know I got it I figured was. it out I thought it was well done It's at first you're almost trying to keep up with it at first like you're trying to remember like oh okay this is happening but that's happening and then but once like as the movie goes on it, it becomes more clear yeah. I think with rewatches and yeah I just think in time this movie will gain a greater appreciation mm. for that aspect for yeah. sure yeah for sure I think it's going to be <clears throat> like Interstellar for me, where I liked it the first time, but then on rewatches, I, I'm just going to love it. Like, I love Interstellar now, but I didn't always love it. There was so much going on. I was so worried about like where the story was going. This, kind of similar with the non-linear timeline, I was like... The worst. Yeah, right. I was so busy trying to keep up. Like When I see it again, I can just relax and just enjoy it. Oh, magnifique. No one. Well, shall we give our ratings and then we can get us into some spoilers, some specific moments we want to talk about? Sure. Um, I'm, I'm going to start off. I'm still thinking. I'm going to start off. I think because of the couple things I mentioned, I'm going to go heavy for. Oh, mm. But, Nolan like zero. I said, in time, uh, could be five. I think on a rewatch, friend. it's probably going to be a five. But yeah. Yeah. 
I did love it. And I'm a, actually, there's one thing I wanted to mention. That first sort of like bombing run or like run. Yeah. Amazing. Literally, my like, I was like <laughs> choking up. When they're going there, like as soon as they like they engage for the first time, there's that one where it's like soaring inwards like that. Yeah, the mm-hmm. sound of the like Messerschmitts or whatever they're called. Yeah, the like German planes. Yeah, fucking blew my mind. Just screams. Yeah, in IMAX. Mm-hmm. I was literally like, like transfixed. Like it yeah, sounded like a everywhere. Tie Fighter. Like it was like insane. Like the screeching sound. It literally blew my mind. And bombs. then the explosions. Dum, yeah. Dum, dum, yeah, one so guy's like long. firing up and just goes. Yeah. yeah. Just that scene alone. We killed the guy. Yeah. We Heavy really four. killed the person. Heavy four. It's a five. Obviously. Oh yeah. no! I had no problem with the uh, <laughs> with the narrative at all. I I, I got it. Yeah. Like oh, throughout the movie, I was right like, "Oh, that's that boat. Oh, that's that ship. Oh, that's that person." Yeah. The whole time so, I was just like on it. I was like, oh, I "Can't I wait that? to see how this all gets." Six. It, was, it wasn't just that. I mean, it was the again. I selfishly wanted a little bit more. What with the emotion? Emotional connection? Fine with that. Yeah. Okay. Five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Five yeah. bang. Yeah, right. You're jumping in. I'm in. I'm jumping on that boat. Five oh, bang it's not Mark sinking. Mark Rylance movie. I'm the oh, fuck. Hating. Three. Fuck. <laughs> well, I gotta go heavy four like Scott. I never thought I'd see the day where no. someone five bangs an Nolan movie that I don't. Sweetie five banged an Nolan movie and you didn't. Well, How does that was, make you feel? You know what? I'll rewatch it a couple of days. <laughs> I'll get it to a five. Don't worry. Yeah. I don't know. I just, for some reason, a movie's got to have that five bang. I just know right away. Yeah, it didn't I click do. fully for me. I think, the here's here's the click. problem is, I think that like I I'm five banging it. IMAX had a huge thing to do with that. I feel like like yeah, too. I feel like if I like I watch it at home, I'm not going to enjoy it as much as I did watching it in IMAX. There's That's something you gotta consider. Like I'm, I'm actually scared about that. How much heavy lifting is being done by the IMAX? Yeah, like it's it's beautiful, but think about if you saw that not in IMAX, it wouldn't be as great as we just saw it. It'd be good, and no one's tough. Trust. Yeah, tough thing though, because he designed it literally designed it for IMAX. Yeah, like, shot for IMAX, so it's like. How do I'm you thinking judge? like when I watch it at home, like in a year from now, on my 37 inch, I'm like, plus your fault. I can't TV. get an IMAX screen. Buy an you IMAX need, theater. You need your own IMAX theater. <laughs> That's the problem. You're like right. Nolan. It's on me, guys. Yeah, Sorry. Cool. Just never watch the movie again, then. I'm, I might not. I want it to keep that magic. Don't ever watch it again. Good. It's not fun. Well, I think we'll move into our spoiler section. If you guys haven't seen Dunkirk, Dunkirk. yet, Dunkirk. Uh, check it out in IMAX, please. Please. Yeah. Um, have to see it at least IMAX. once in IMAX. Pause Funny this video, and you can... Watch the rest of it once you've seen it, or if you don't mind being spoiled, Pause. continue at your own risk. But we're going to talk about some specific scenes in the film. Is there anything you guys want to bring up specifically? Yeah. Oh. Um, oh. In the climax, oh. looks like Tom Hardy's going to just crash his plane into the beach, and I was terrified for that man. I was like, oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Oof. And then like his landing gear doesn't go down all properly the all the way. I'm like, no! He just like wrecked... Nazis for like the last like hour and then glides blows up his plane and then gets taken to a prisoner of war camp which is devastating devastating yeah utterly devastating I will say <laughs> he's, he's, he's definitely the most badass yeah he's been by Joker. far yeah. yeah and all that eye acting amazing, amazing. so great in but the end when he finally gets it all off he's just tearing up as he's watching his plane burn and then oh that's, and that's the shot I was I was yeah. talking about earlier yeah him standing in front of that burning plane yeah Amazing. Gorgeous. Fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah. Hoy, shot. you're the man. I was so hoping that he was going to, like, if I was, say, if I was in that situation, here's what I would have done. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, I, I can, you know, I, I have enough Careful. knowledge. To, yeah. I would have, like, ejected you right, died right away. Yeah, of course. I, I would have, like, <laughs> <laughs> I would have, Scott, let's, yeah. let's be right there. Died I wouldn't have even been in the plane. Like, they would have, like, uh, yeah. you're the, no, fuck that. You you're not guy flying. getting buried on the beach. At yeah. The oh, yeah. And someone stole his boots. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> You probably didn't even make it in the army, let's be honest. No, are you kidding me, dude? Look at me. I'm not, yeah. They'll laugh at me. <laughs> Rejected. <laughs> um, no, okay, fuck, yeah. I don't even want to say you my opinion put some now. super... But yeah, super if soldiers. You were super in, serum. If, okay, I, if you were in his... If I was area, flying a Spitfire, here's what I would have done. <laughs> I would have ejected, like, right over top of the... Like, once I knew it was clear, I would have ejected right over top of the beach, you know, landed mm-hmm. down, taken my victory. Yes. Thank you, thank you. And then gotten on one of those boats because you got gotten VIP treatment. Okay, did you know that he was too low 
he would die if he ejected with his parachute. That makes sense. Would not have gone off. He was like this high. That's true. Yeah. So you would have died. <laughs> That's why I would have Again. Done. I would just not flew have out made and it. Just fucking hit the ground. <laughs> like no parachute. Just yeah. Yeah. If he did it earlier when he was high enough, his plane would have just like slowly glided into the beach full of soldiers. But see, he couldn't have done it higher full though because he had to kill that plane. He's the ultimate hero. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he sacrificed himself badass. to save others. I love him. Matter of fact, he's my new favorite character. Yeah. He was always my favorite. But Five bad? I'm in love with him. Uh, maybe uh, okay so i think the best example of the narrative amazing, was his buddy gets shot down yeah, he crashes it. into the water and then you think tom that's hardy's like done. no he's like alive but you see tom hardy like circles playing you see him stick his hand up as if he's waving be like i'm good i'm fine don't worry mm-hmm. yeah the next time you see that you see that he's like sticking his hand up because he's trying to get his window open it. and yeah. it's not opening so that's when I was like, oh that no. That scared the shit out of I him. thought he was okay, but fuck, he might drown in his plane yeah. now. And he sees Tom Hardy fly over. Fly right? off. He's like, no, 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 I'm not okay. <sighs> more. Intense. I'm not sure what Tom Hardy would have done. Not much, but like. Nothing. <laughs> the point is, the story wise. So, perspective change. Yeah, you're left like 30 minutes thinking this guy's okay, and then you see it again, and you realize you're with him longer in that second time. You see him like trying to break, like, break him his window. I'm like, oh no, he's Very gonna die. Very tense scene. Very tense scene. Fuck. And then you see again when like Tom Hardy's flying over, and you see the boat that Harry Styles and Finn McCool or Finn Whitehead, <laughs> Finn McCool, Finn 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 Whitehead. It's a, it's a local pub. Hop onto right. Very similar. You see that boat tipped over before you actually see it. See what happened. See what them. happened to yeah. it. So I'm like, that's the boat they're on now. Yeah, so I'm like, it's that. not going to end well. Yeah, <laughs> I've I'm seen like, that boat before. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You or see the it tipped over at first you see it tipped over in the water first as tom hardy's like, like flying over it right and I then remember. later you see them join those the group of uh highlanders yeah mm. and then walking towards the boat oh and they get in the boat. Hey. the boat that's tipped over yeah but you've already seen the boat already tipped over and right. filled with water yeah. i love that it's like such a memorable boat so you they're can eating, see it right away they're eating like the toast and the jam on this boat no like, no not that one do you know that small, small blue one boat? that they hop onto remember the one that's beached already the one the frenchie dies on we just saw this movie the tumor's back. Uh, no, the one that's getting right shot with holes. Yeah, in the, yeah, the, du- the, the, the Dutch guy shows up. Okay. The first time you see that is it tipped over uh, in the water. And Tom Hardy's like flying over it. And they're all like swimming away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Do we see the jelly toast boat earlier? No. no. The other big boat you see is the H-32 like big gray boat. The one that gets, gets bombed, bombed? Like, yeah. by the, the bomber four, that like, Tom Hardy's chasing. Yeah. The bomber bombs it. And you see that from a couple different perspectives. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that bomb. Oh, yeah. my God. How can you not be five-banging this? Oh, my God. I'm, it's amazing. I'm There's so <laughs> many layers to this. It's great. Guys, I'm on the edge. Because it I'm didn't click yet. Okay. Much there. Like, how can you That's not? Um, the torpedo scene is amazing. Yes. Yeah. Any scene inside a sinking ship in this movie is fucking amazing. Yeah. Like, I've never seen, like, ship sinking like I have in this movie. It, the Normally it's blew my CG. Mind. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> Technically, you've never seen sink, you've never seen ship sinking until you've seen this movie. Yes. Yeah. Especially in IMAX, like the torpedo thing just blew my mind. I'm like, oh, that's weird. What the fuck? I thought it was like a wire. Yeah. Being, like, thought, spooled in really quick. And like torpedo. I'm like, no. Boom. Yeah. Fills up with water. People are drowning. Like, mind blown. The yeah. scene we just described where they think. They get the Dutch guy, and he's like, no, no, I'm Dutch, I'm Dutch. I think he's a German spy. Ping, ping. Holes start blowing through. It's okay, hit in the eye. Five, but... Jesus. Crazy. Yeah, shot in the eye, he didn't <sighs> me. And I thought the French guy was a spy. Like, yeah. I totally bought when Harry Styles said it. I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, I knew, like, right away when he was burying, like, Great twist, to be honest. Yeah, when he was burying that guy, I was like, he took his shoes. Like, I knew right away. That oh, that's what I figured. I figured, oh. yeah. No, he was French, he but he was changing his uni- He took that guy's uniform. And he was bearing right, it so right, that he right. wouldn't see the French yeah. uniform. Right. No, I figured he just took his boots because his boots were ruined. No, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I no, no one bear no one buries. At first, I did think that. that then that yeah. is, oh, he was just he's just taking his boots. Yeah, I've seen that in so many war things where like he takes boots or you take ammo. Yeah. Now here's the real question. Uh-oh. When did Finn? He Whitehead's looks French character too. Sorry. Finally, take a shit. Probably one of the because it took place over scenarios. Yeah, over shit a himself. period of time. Safest place was when he was in the water. I think he might have shit. Do you think he, he shit? Water. Do you think he shit I in think, the water? Yeah. For example, me, the torpedo yeah, scenario. Probably, <laughs> probably shit. That rocked it loose. Yeah. yeah. 
probably a good chance. That's the lingering minute. question for me. I'm eating PB and J next. Because he stopped. He, he stopped shit mid clinch. Twice, yeah. Literally, yeah. Literally <laughs> mid clinch, he stopped. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he uh, clenched up. up. He didn't release the clench. Much there like me. I didn't release the entire movie. It was yeah. terrifying. It was full clench. Oh, I released. <laughs> like this hour, like I said this as soon as we as soon as we we got into this, I told them like this movie was an hour and forty seven minutes long. Quick. I had to go to the bathroom for 146 of those minutes, but I was not leaving the theater at all. Amazing. Yeah. Extremely tense. Yeah. Is there is there anything else you guys want to bring up specifically? Mm-hmm. Go see this movie. Oh, the whole side story with George that blew me away. Like with the kid. George. Yeah, I didn't expect him to get killed off. Yeah, <laughs> what the shit happened up. there? Yeah. I thought it was oh, I thought it was like a huge moment like when the guy told me he was that he was gonna be okay. Killian yeah. Murphy. Yeah. Just, sorry. Killian Murphy. Thank you. Just a douche. Yeah. No good. No Killian good. Murphy, just like just Killian shell shock. But they like the guy's just traumatized yeah. from what he's seen. Yeah. Well, I didn't like how he douchily told the two kids to wait in the water and bob it out while he comes back. That oh was, he literally had to. Oh. He said the ship overturned the French twice. French dude threw them a line. Yeah. Yeah, that is the French. So you didn't story. have to. They're good people. Yeah, the French are good people. Um, Represent. This is great. Yeah, cool. This is great. Represent. Where does this rank in your guys' Nolanography? I'll have to reassess. Five banged. A lot of assessment. Three of his movies. So, Stay tuned. This being the third. This being the fourth, actually. I gotta evaluate yeah. myself. Oof. Stay tuned to Letterbox, ladies. Boom. Well, I think that'll do it for our review for Dunkirk. 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 Tim, where can people find us? It's better. As you people say. can find us on Twitter at Up Real Late. You can find all of our old audio on iTunes at Up Real Late, and you can find me personally on Letterbox at Up Real Tim. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram at Up Real Late Podcast. You can also find me on Letterbox at Up Real Ty. You can find me on Twitter at Franny Twenty Five and on Instagram and Letterbox at Up Real Adam. You can find me on Letterbox at Up Real Scott. And yeah, guys, if you enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join our discussion about Dunkirk. Mm. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy our content. And as always, keep it real.